Hi again, my name is Rebel and I'm the Rebel Reseller and today I'm going to be doing a kind of a continuation on the series that I've been doing about different brands of stuffed animals but I changed it up a little bit. I thought I might go ahead and do Christmas stuffed animals um, and just show you things that um, are selling quite well right now. Now some of the stipulations about how I do this. I only look for used, not new, um, because I feel like those are the things that you're going to be able to find at yard sales, estate sales, thrift stores, anything like that. I try to go in and make sure that the buyer has received feedback so that it looks like it was a legitimate sale because a lot of these are high dollar in this series that I'm doing. Um, but if not, then I've made a note on there that there was no feedback left, but I did go back into the store to see if it had been relisted. I went on Terapeak to make sure it hadn't been relisted and resold by just kind of looking for the same listing again. Um, and that's the best I can do. That is my due diligence on this. And, you know, hopefully these are things, some of these we're never going to find. We'll be lucky. How about that? If we find them. Like the largest selling items were Rushton plush. We all know to look for Rushton. I think I have found it maybe once and it wasn't a high dollar thing. It's It was like a baby doll. And for some reason, those don't do as well. The ones you're looking for are like the, the bunny rabbits and stuff and in pristine condition. But... These Russians weren't even in great condition. All right, let me go ahead and get my screens going. First thing is this Build-A-Bear Hello Kitty Gingerbread Plush. Now I did probably, I don't know, it's been a little while. I did a video like this on just Build-A-Bear. Um, and there was a Hello Kitty like Sun Kiss plush that was in that list of high dollar plush to be looking for. This one, it sold for $60 and the buyer did not get feedback left for it. That is a problem on eBay. Not for me personally, probably one in five people leave me feedback. So if you go in and, it, and, and I've heard um, other YouTubers say the same thing, probably one in four, one in five leave feedback for their sellers. So that doesn't mean that the, the deal didn't go through. I'm sure it did on this one. But definitely keep your eyes. A lot of times um, the little bow that goes on the Hello Kitty heads is missing and that does affect the price. Um, and I have even seen people who find or separate the two and do quite well that way because they are famous for um, losing the bows on the Hello Kitties. All right, next, Squishmallow. Of course we had to have a Squishmallow. This is Nightmare Before Christmas. It is the large Oogie Boogie. I did see a lot of um, the Nightmare Before Christmas sets on here, but most of them were brand new. Somebody had gone to the store, bought a whole bunch of them. Um, but this one was used and it sold for $70.77 and the buyer did leave positive feedback. This. Y'all, I have these. I'm not sure how many of them, but I have these. These are Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle Christmas stockings. This is Michelangelo and Leonardo. These sold for $65, but again, the buyer did not leave feedback. I think mine are personalized for my older boys. I may have them, or they may have taken them. I'm not quite sure. My boys are in their 30s, but that's how long we've had them. I won't sell them. You know, it's just certain things from your children's childhood that you just hold on to. I have all their baby ornaments too. This is Build-A-Bear again. This is Elf on the Shelf. Um, this sold for $60 and the buyer did leave positive feedback. There were others of these had sold for less, but this was like the one that had a complete outfit on it. So that's why it did get higher than some of the others that had sold. This is Floppy Friends. 
this was um i guess an exclusive for the mervyn store it is a large plush 20 inch it sold for 91 dollars, and the buyer did get positive feedback i remember going to mervyn's when i was stationed out in san diego i used to shop for my boys there and I, th I do think I have a couple of plush that are Mervyn's exclusives, but I don't know if it's Floppy Friends. I'll have to go in and look. But definitely keep your eyes out for Floppy Friends. Now this is Disney Parks Wishables Christmas Reindeer, a mini plush. I saw lots of these listed that were um, new, and lots of these were listed in sets. This one sold for $99.99, and the buyer did get positive feedback. I also saw a Wishables advent calendar. They were all new, but definitely keep your eyes out for advent calendars. They're also a good thing to look for, but I didn't put any on here because I don't consider it plush. Now this, I've sold Herod's Bears before, but probably not this annual Christmas bear. This is Joshua. This was from 2019. It sold for $89.99. Um, the buyer did not leave positive feedback on this. Um, but I'm going to have to keep an eye out for the Christmas bears. When I do this tool over here, a lot of times it doesn't let me look at the close-ups. I was hoping to see the shirt on there. But Herod's Christmas bears. All right, of course, Fisher Price. This is called a Cozies. A lot of times you'll see um, that their fabric is very unique. Sometimes it's referred to as waffle weave here. Sometimes it's referred to as thermal. I usually use all of those words. This was the Christmas Reindeer from 1998. It sold for $80 and the buyer did leave positive feedback. Um, I need to find a Cozies for my wall. I've got my little puffalump replaced over here. I had sent my other puffalump that was on my wall to a rural squirrel because she won a contest that we had, a scavenger hunt that Bolo Buddies put on for some of us that we had to go find some stuff at the Goodwill bins. Kristen won it, so I sent her my prized puffalump and I just replaced it. Now, Zany Brainy, I have seen that brand before, but I don't know if I've ever picked it up. Now I'm going to have to be on the lookout. Um, this is Zach Frost, the Snowman. Again, it's a large plush, 28 inches from 2000. It sold for $129.95. This was the surprise for me. This is Target Wonder Shop. This is a bird that was released in 2017. I saw lots of the birds. Not all of them were um, getting high prices, but there were quite a few of these. This sold for $110 and the buyer did leave positive feedback. $110. I don't think these are very big. Crazy. Mr. Bengals. This is a New Orleans exclusive type plush. Something about the New Orleans area. I have had a Mr. Bingles one time ever, but it was little. Um, this is the large plush, 26 inches. He's got Christmas decorations on him. It sold for $124.99. Anytime you see Mr. Dangles, pick it up. All right, now this. This is the Stuffins CVS Drugstore um, Island of Misfit Toys plush series. There's a lot of them. I think I had the entire set. When I went to the Goodwill bins in Nashville, I think it was our last trip, I was finding them everywhere. I'm pretty sure I had the complete set. I chose not to put them in a lot. I'm selling each one of them individually. This person had 13 of them. It doesn't, I can't tell, it doesn't look like all of them have their tags, but they might. Um, they took a best offer of $100 for 
for these 13 but I wanted to show you I this is mine this sold on uh, Etsy I sold just the Dolly for Sue doll for $39.95 so I think for me I would have listed all of these individually not all of them sell I think I sold the father uh, the coach the reindeer plush that was the coach you know with the whistle around his neck I think he only sold for like eight dollars so not all of them are big you know get a lot of money for them but I think selling them individually you would do better than putting them in a lot but it is a lot more work I've never heard of this series. This I don't have littles at home anymore. This is Hallmark Disney Prep and Landing Wayne and Lanny. They're the 16 inch plush. They do talk. I did see quite a few of these um, in the solds. So I mean I've never even heard of it. I'm going to have to definitely keep my eyes out for them. They sold for $85 and the buyer did leave positive feedback. I think I have another one from that series to show too. Now this is Boyd's Bears. Some of them do really, really well. Most of them are bread and butter for me. Um, this is Owen T. Woolberry. Woolberry Berry. Um, he sold for $120 and the buyer did leave positive feedback. You can tell, I don't think he's very big. But he's not one of the minis either. I saw quite a few of those. When I was doing my research, I used Christmas as a uh, keyword, but there was a lot of plush that wasn't Christmas, so they must have put Christmas somewhere in the item specifics that was getting them into that search. Um, but $120 for a Boyd's Bear. Now this is Starbucks. I also pick these up quite often, but I have never um had this series it looks like maybe they are an exclusive from japan there were only a few listings on them which is funny too because look they forgot the d in gingerbread and one of the other listings also didn't have the d in gingerbread but these sold for 140 dollars and the buyer did leave glowing feedback i, I remember this one just was extremely happy Starbucks. Stife. Had to get a stife in here. This was a Christmas stag. Um, it sold for $150. Um, the buyer did not leave feedback though. But I, I have, like I said, not many people leave feedback for their sellers. Now, there are going to be some Rushton on here. I only get, get, picked up a couple of examples, but there are other stuffed animals that have the rubber face. Definitely, anytime you find them, um, check the comps. This brand is Columbia Toy. Um, very cute. Look at this reindeer. There were several of these. In fact, I think there was a, a set of two also that I had sold. This one reindeer sold for $175 and the buyer did leave positive feedback. So anytime you see rubber-faced animals. Another Boyd's Bear. Again, this isn't one of the minis. This is 10 inches tall um, from 2004. There were several of these also in the solds. This one sold for $172. But I think these are called peekers because when you put the bear inside, their face just sticks out. Peekers or peepers? I don't remember. Now, this is a brand I've never heard of. Um, R. John Wright. It's a mohair mouse Christmas plush. This person had actually sold a couple of these. I saw in the feedback. Um, but this was the only one that was Christmas. It sold for $175. And the buyer left positive feedback. But very, very cool. R. John Wright. We gotta look for that. Mohair is very distinct in plush. It's kind of rough. So if you pick up a plush and it's rough fur, it possibly is mohair. So go ahead and check it because sometimes they are just more expensive. This is again from that Disney 
Prep and Landing. This is Thrasher and Dasher. They're 16 inch reindeer. They sold for $150. This is a plush Santa doll, 14 inches. It was by Harold Gale. I've never heard of that. I see lots of Santa dolls at yard sales and estate sales. Um, I need to start checking them a little bit better. I don't always check them, um, but obviously I need to. This sold for $199.99. Now this is a vintage Animal Fair. I love that brand. Pepsi Christmas Snowman. Now I've had this series a couple of times, a couple of pieces from it, but I think they were the more common ones. They are large and they are not easily switchable. So I'm pretty sure, as you can see on this shipping right here, that it was oversized. This sold for $139.99, um, but it is Noelle who is Farm Girl Scavenger. So I sent her a message and asked if the buyer did pay and she said yes they did they just didn't leave her feedback so definitely if you come across these large stuffed animals that are the snowman's snowman's snowmen from animal fair um not all of them sell very great but definitely check the comps because this is one of the ones again another Oogie Boogie from Nightmare Before Christmas. This one was a little different. It was a glow in the dark. It sold for $200. I would pick up anything Nightmare Before Christmas, to be honest. All right, this is Disney Pre Duffy Hidden Mickey Bear. Um, it says it's a Christmas reindeer. I'm not sure if it's a bear with a reindeer outfit on it or if it really is a reindeer. I couldn't tell from the pictures. Um, the hidden Mickey is because these bears, if you look at his face right here, it is shaped like Mickey Mouse. Um, there is pre-Duffy and then there's Duffy. Duffy is the more contemporary bears. I'm not sure where the cutoff was, but the ones that you really want to be looking out for is the pre-Duffy. The Duffy ones have a tag that says Duffy on them. The pre-Duffies don't have that tag, and then usually their tag is just the normal um, Disney Park, I mean, Walt Disney World or, yeah, Walt Disney World um, tags. But nowhere on the bear will it say Duffy. Um, the, the more larger ones that are colorful do really, really well probably in the hundreds. I have just a regular pre-Duffy one that's the normal brown and I've had it forever. I'm going to probably have to drop the price because um, they're just not as highly sought after. But anytime you see one of these bears and the face looks like Mickey, definitely check your comps. This is, again, Animal Fair. It is Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. It sold for $185, and the buyer did leave feedback. I have had a reindeer before, but it wasn't Rudolph. It was a long time ago, and it took quite a while to sell, again, because they are not smushable. They are stiff, plush, so you just have to find a box that's going to fit them, and a lot of times that puts them into the oversized but there are collectors out there who want these. Now, this is Preferred Plush. I saw lots of these in varying quantities. There were th singles, threes, fours, sixes. Um, I have never seen these before. I'm going to have to keep an eye out for them. But they are dancing, singing and dancing Christmas carolers. This was a set of six, and it sold for $199. Now, this is unique because this is Jimmy. I pick up almost all Jimmy. 50-50 chance that they work. I have not very good luck with them. But I pick them up. I really 
need to bring a screwdriver and batteries with me when I'm out and about. This one was sold for parts or repair. It sold for $243.50. There were lots of these that were listed and sold. It must be one of the, the top things to be looking for as far as for Christmas and in the Jimmy brand. So definitely keep your eyes out. Snowflake Spinning Snowman. And there were different variations on this, but they all seem to be doing really well. But just because something doesn't work, I've learned this, this in the last year since started doing these videos, doesn't mean it won't sell. All right, this is Sega Tails Plush. It's a Christmas stocking. Again, it was listed as used, although I do see a tag on there. It is coming from Japan. I tried not to grab too many of them. I don't think I noticed this, but definitely keep your eyes open for a lot of the um, plush that are characters. I've sold Scooby and Mickey and just all kinds of plush that are specific cartoon characters, but this was from 1994 and it sold for $299.99. All right, getting into some more of the big plush. This is Santa Snoopy. It is a giant plush. I want to say it was like four, almost four feet or so. There were other Snoopies that were this size that sold, but this was the only one that I had seen that was in a um, Santa costume. Not sure if it was removable. Um, this sold for $150 and the buyer did leave positive feedback. All right, another large plush. This is the Grinch Who Stole Christmas. It's 52 inches and it's from Beverly Hills Teddy Bear Company. Large plush. And you can tell right here, it was shipped in an oversized box, but it still sold for $172 and the buyer did leave positive feedback. Now these next two are from the same buyer. And they are the Rushtons. No. Hm, I changed it up. I added another one. Just definitely keep your eyes out. These are large, larger plush. 17 inches. Rushton Santa Claus. This one was a light blue one. It sold for $685 on auction. And the buyer did receive positive feedback. And then these last two, same thing, um, but it's the same buyer. This was Coca-Cola Santas. This was the African-American and white one. They were sold together as a lot. They sold for $467. I saw lots of them sold separately in about the $200 range. So, you know, that was probably right on where they would have sold even if they had sold separately. But this buyer didn't get any feedback on this one. And then they also sold this one. They said it was from their father. And they had been stored in a cedar chest. And these four, which because I think they're unique colors, sold on auction for $2,600.99. But when I went in to look at the feedback to make sure it was legit, the uh, buyer had left them negative feedback saying that they had um, a mothballed smell, which that's sad. You know, it says they were stored in a cedar chest. Was it with moth mothballs? I don't know because a lot of times I think the fabric on this is um, like felt and they are terrible to getting moth damage. Just so I'm not sure but they did get negative feedback, which is sad. And so, you know, the saga continues. Was there a return? I'm not seeing them relisted. Um, I just don't know, but definitely something to keep your eyes out for is, and we all know, there's a lot of Santa Clauses that are not Rushton though, that have the rubber face. So definitely don't just assume it's Rushton. 
um, and they won't get these types of prices more than likely, but there was quite a few that were selling in the hundreds. So always check your comps for sure. All right, I think I'm gonna close this out. Um, I'm gonna do some more of these series. I was gonna do Aurora, but this just kind of came up as an idea that I thought this is a good time because right now there's still a lot of estate sales and a lot of thrift stores are starting to put out their Christmas stuff. So I wanted to, you know, teach myself again through research what to be looking for, but also to share it with you guys. But I still want to do Aurora. I think I want to do a series on Lovies. And I think maybe, I'm not sure, other brands that we see all the time. Not the the Edens and the Rushtons and the, the other ones that a lot of us are familiar with if we've dealt with plush any amount of time. But there's still a lot of money to be made with more contemporary plush, not just the vintage stuff. All right, let me get to work. Bye.